G'day everyone, it's Alan here from Fishing Mad. Now this is what fishing looks like during a global pandemic. And this is basically the mandatory dress code anytime that you're out and about at Melbourne through new state laws that have come in. Now, to do our best today to comply with the standards, we obviously have our face masks on. Um, we've done temperature checks just to make sure no one has a fever. Um, we've got gloves that we're gonna wear at certain times of the day. And we've also sanitized everything that we're going to be in contact with. So um, fishing rods, nets, steering wheel, obviously our hands and any equipment that we might share. Now, there are a few other things that you need to remember as well, guys. When you're out and about under the rule of exercising, you're only allowed to be out with one other person. It can be a family member or a non-family member. I'll have my mate Rob out with me today. Um, you also need to do your best to try and stay 1.5 meters apart. So we've actually got the measuring tape out and measured parts of the boat that we know are going to be nice and safe for us to fish today. And most importantly, is that you need to stay close to home. So our travel distance today is about an eight minute drive. And we would encourage others out there not to be driving across town or doing anything to put fishing in the spotlight. So there you go. It's certainly a bit to get used to, a bit to take in. But you know what? You've got to do what you've got to do to get out there and do fishing during these times. So no more talking. Let's get out there and get fishing. Definitely low tide. Beautiful. I grab a little bit of this oil as well. It's quite big. All right, so what we'll do. Even last time when it was really choppy that you came out with us. Yeah, we were still catching a few, so. Oh, here we go, got one. Finally got one, it's definitely a pinky with the head shakes, but it actually feels pretty good. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's a nice fish. Just let him run. Lift up. Beautiful. All right. Finally, we have a fish. Well, there you go. Finally got a pinky on board. This one's probably about 33, 34. Gave a nice little fight. Um, 
certainly is challenging fishing in these circumstances with foggy glasses and obviously things over your mouth, but that's a good start and uh, let's see if we can find a few more of them. 6.2 metres. Sort of found a patch now. We might even throw the anchor down and burly up. What do you reckon? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I should be able to lift this one. And a beautiful keeper size pinky. So uh, good stuff. Well, there you go. Rob's onto a pinky as well. So that's his first for the day, breaking in his new rod. Just under, mate. Yeah, just under, mate. Right. 27. Throw him over. See you later. cursor let's give that a go eight meters again directly out from that which is what i said last time a few cars. yeah let's do a few cars i don't think it should matter which direction because we should be on top of them the weather that was predicted was really nice and calm conditions but just in the last few minutes that wind has actually changed direction and the swell has really come up so uh it's a little bit lumpy out here now so we'll have to see how things go i think those sounders are accurate aren't they Yep. Oh, I'll get you to hold that up in a second. We'll go for a mate. That's all right. Hmm. Go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, this is a good fish, I think. All right. Let's have a... Well, this has hit like a train, and it's certainly giving a bit of fight here. So I reckon we've got a nice fish on here, guys. Do you want to grab the net, please, mate? I reckon. Oh, this is really fighting hard. Oh, come on, be a good fish. Yeah, this is going to be a, a ripper of a pinky. Come on. Oh, he's still not done. Oh, I think he's going. He's going under. Oh, all right, let's. Oh, I see. Lift up. Yes. Woo! There we go. Is that fought hard? That fought really hard. Good size too. That is a ripper. Well, there you go, guys. That is a beautiful fish. He's a pink. He's bloody strong. I'm guessing he's probably about 40 centimeters and maybe a tad smaller, maybe 38, 39. But that is a beautiful fish. Perfect eating size. He's definitely going in the esky. So, uh, sorry, buddy. Uh, it's, oh, that's a nice pinky. Hold on, I'm gonna get the net. That's a really nice pinky. There we go. Good job, mate. Board again. Look at that. Yep. Too happy on the nuke chicken. So, uh, good job. A flathead. A little flatty. He's absolutely engulfed that soft plastic. Okay, that's going to be fun trying to get that out. Catch another one on this one. I'm going to chuck oh, them over. Oh, you gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. This feels like it might be okay as well. 
Uh, let's have a look. It's a nice pinky. No, I think I can lift him. Oh, it's probably just legal. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Oh, it's working that very, very slowly. And this feels like another good fish. Definitely a pinky, those head shakes. Definitely a bit of weight. Big keeper, well and truly, but he's not a big fish. Oops, sorry mate. Beautiful. All right, starting to find a few fish now. Just low 30s guys, again, taking that nuclear chicken curl tail, which is working really well in these conditions. I think it's just pretty dirty and murky, that water from uh, bouncing around. So uh, but we're finding a few fish now. Look at all these birds. That's crazy. Massive congregation. There's hundreds and hundreds of them. Nice if they were taking us to salmon, but they're not. Wow.